Hey guys, it's Ginny and Nancy here with another live tutorial for you on Thursday. We are going to be doing back to back from now on. We'll be doing Thursday and Friday just to let you guys know what our schedule is going to be like. Nancy's already posted it on Instagram and Facebook. We'll make a post tonight on it. Crystal Obsession just so you guys have an idea. Hey Crystal Nails, how are you guys? We're going to get started here in a second. We're just taking some time so that we can share everything. We are going to be doing a 4D gel demonstration so that you guys have an idea of how to use that. Tonight at midnight, our 4D gel promotion goes offline. It will no longer be $149.99 with your free 3D brush and Hi, your diamond stick. So both of these things come in your kit that you get for $149.99. After midnight tonight, that will go back up to $179.99. So make sure that you guys are checking that out. It's a really awesome deal. You do get all 12 colors of our 4D gel, as well as the brush and your diamond stir stick. So don't miss out on your opportunity. Look, I was messing around earlier today. We were just, I was doing some butterfly wings so that I can do that on live for you. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're just gonna give it a few more seconds and then we're gonna get started here. I will show you both of the colors I'm gonna use tonight. So I'm gonna use our gold for the 4D, just cause I think it'll look really pretty. It's gonna stand out really well. And then I'm gonna use the green for our crystal pixie. So we're gonna do a crystal pixie demonstration for you guys too. Please excuse my nails are not done all the way. Almost done. Yeah, almost done. I did do our glow powder at the top of this though and it does look really freaking cool. All right guys. So the two colors I'm using today are Pop and Bubbly, CND Creative Clay. And then this one is Toe the Lime. Like Toe the Line, ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Pop and bubbly and toe, toe the lime. That's really funny. And then this is the crystal pixie color we're gonna be using today as well. This is a really beautiful olive green color. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great Thursday. My Thursday was freaking busy, hence us being just a little bit late today. So, any day that we go live after about 7 p.m., it's probably be because we took some late clients and we're just really busy. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my 4D. <coughs> so this is your 4D gel brush. You're going to get your silicone end, which is what I'll be using for my 4D. And then you're going to get your 3D end, which is really awesome. Um, if Nancy hadn't put it in the box, I would have showed you. I did something today for a client that's so pretty. It turned out really good. And I used this brush to do that. But we already packaged it up. Because we like to do fun stuff. We do like um, pop sockets. Let me show you Nancy's really quick. So this is done with our 3D brush as well. You guys can see, this is about a couple months old, Nancy's pop socket. Probably longer than that, I think. I think longer Three than that. Three or four months? No, it was in um, last so, year. Oh, this, this is the first one you made. No, this is the second, the second one. one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why it's cracked. Yes, a yeah. lot of, because my kids is just Scratched. like them, um, phase them down it's right in there. That's what everywhere. I do, I toss mine all over the place. They turn out really pretty though, but we mm -hmm. do actually sell these for $49.99. So you guys can just literally resurface a pop socket topper, cause that's all that it is. This is the top part of the pop socket. And then put your crystals on there and do whatever you want to with it. It ends up being really beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm using Pop and Bubbly for our 4D gel demonstration. And the colors I'm gonna be using are our crimson red and our pure white. Just cause I wanna give it a little bit of contrast on there. I was gonna do the yellow, but I think that the gold kind of is gonna take away a little bit from the yellow just because it's not gonna pop very bright. So we wanna make sure that we're using a good contrasting color. 
And having the white is going to make it contrast because it's just a, it's a white color, so it's very, very bright. And the red is just going to give it a little bit of color. Any other shape of our sample nails? We do not. Is that something that you'd be interested in, Pearl? If it is something that you're interested in, definitely DM us and ask the question again, and Nancy will probably take into consideration how much request we get for that, and then she might add a different shape. What shape She's asking if we have a different shape for our demo nails mm, instead of just yeah. the stiletto. I see. So like a shorter one? If you are looking for the um, coffin, Coffin, you can, you can just, just trim it. Yeah, just trim the, the tip off of it and straighten the sides a little bit, and there's coffin. And it looks good, my coffin. Yeah, but if you want like a shorter one or something like that, then that's something I would definitely just um, DM you're on doing Insta or Facebook. Surprise things today. Not flowers, something you different. No, I'm gonna do something else. So uh, okay, I want long, just different shapes. I would like to no. say it in Vietnamese. Uh, Nancy và Jenny xin mến chào tất cả các anh chị em đang có chương trình live Facebook live của công ty Glitz Accessories Search hàng tuần cùng với Jenny và Nancy. Uh, khi mà mùa hè mùa hè sắp tới mùa hè đã tới rồi thì mình uh, công ty sẽ có um, uh, cái thời gian để làm Facebook live hơi đổi một chút xíu hơi thay đổi một chút xíu vào thứ năm và thứ sáu thì để có thể liên tục back to back uh, cùng với tất cả các anh chị em để chia sẻ thì uh, Jenny và Nancy sẽ go live vào thứ năm và thứ sáu sáu bảy giờ tối của Central Standard Time thì uh, tất cả các câu hỏi hay có thắc mắc uh, về uh, cách làm hay sản phẩm thì các anh chị em có thể uh, inbox uh, Nancy hoặc Jenny hoặc là inbox uh, direct to công ty thì công ty sẽ uh, cố gắng trả lời hết tất cả câu hỏi của các anh chị em ha À, ngày hôm nay thì mỗi một lần uh, Jenny và Nancy go live thì Nancy và Jenny cố gắng uh, mang đến cho tất cả các anh chị em những cách làm khác nhau uh, trong uh, những cái uh, kiểu design trên móng ngoài khi mình làm một bộ móng đẹp thiệt đẹp thì mình rúa đẹp shape của mình đẹp mình sơn màu lên đẹp rồi hoặc là mình làm đắp bột lên đẹp thì tạo thêm nhiều kiểu và nhiều sức sống lạ cho móng tay và mình có thể uh, cho những anh chị em nào mà tiệm mình có nhiều thợ thì mình có thể khuyến khích người thợ làm những kiểu design rất là dễ lẹ gọn lẹ không mất nhiều thời gian mà mình có thể kiếm thêm được uh, thêm được rất là nhiều tiền ngoài việc là chỉ làm một bộ móng uh, như là hàng ngày khách làm thôi thì mình có thể giới thiệu khách hàng làm thêm uh, những đính thêm đá một chút xíu đá cho đẹp hoặc là mình có thể làm uh, thêm uh, cách làm rất là khác lạ với nhau là ví dụ như là uh, Jenny đang chỉ cách làm đơn giản thôi nặn cái bông 3D mà bằng thay vì hồi trước là mình nặn bằng bột bột thì rất là dễ cho những anh chị em là đắp bột rất là đẹp thì mình có thể nặn bông 3D dễ dàng nhưng có những anh chị em nào mình bắt đầu mới học thì cách này là một cách đẹp nhất, dễ nhất, lẹ nhất để mình có thể nặn một bông 3D đẹp mà không có sợ là chưa nặn đẹp mình đã bị khô. Thì uh, trong cái nặn bông 3D này thì Nancy và Jenny sẽ chia sẻ cách để mình gắn thêm hột nữa để mình vừa nặn bông 3D đẹp để mình có thể gắn thêm hột để mình tạo nhiều kiểu đẹp cho khách hàng để khách hàng uh, thấy mỗi ngày một cái kiểu móng của họ có thể uh, khác biệt bây giờ Jenny đang làm khi cái cái gel 4 d này thì rất là dễ mà nếu mà anh chị em mình nặn không cần nếu như mà mình không có alcohol mình không cần phải bỏ alcohol cũng được giống như Jenny đang làm Jenny nặn rất dễ dàng mà không có bị dính cái cây um, nặn bông 3 d gel 4 d gel mà có thể làm rất là dễ mà không có bị nứt cũng không có quá dày không quá cứng đủ dẻo để mình có thể làm Love the red and the white. There, the yes. crimson and the white. Look at that. Jenny is blending it. It's so amazing. Rất là dễ. Jenny chỉ làm một chút xíu thôi. Đã ra một cái cánh um, rất là đẹp rồi. I'm excited, Brad. Do you guess what she's doing now? I'm excited. <coughs> I love doing this because the butterflies have little veins in them. Yeah. Oh, she already saying it. <laughs> Okay, Jenny. Can't keep a secret. I'm sorry, yeah. Nancy. 
This is why when Nancy does promotional stuff, she doesn't tell me. Because she can't help it. Say something. I'm just trying to educate you. So you can see how it will like blend together really well. Yes. It's just so easy to do. So what I did guys was I put my top coat on here and I cured it for about 15 to 30 seconds just so it will be tacky. You don't want it to be wet but you do want it to be a little bit tacky. And that way after you put these all on there you'll be able to just cure it all at once. one petal done. I say petal, it's a wing, but whatever. It's so pretty. You guys can see that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flash cure this just for like seven seconds. I don't have to really cure it for any longer than that. Because it's going to get hard pretty much instantly. So now that I have my one little wing flash cured, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to put a little bit less red this time and that way I'll have a little bit more of my white. And you guys saw me earlier while Nancy was speaking in Vietnamese. I'm literally just taking a tiny little scoop of this with my diamond stir stick. You can see just a small amount, especially of the red, because like I said, we don't want to use too much this time. We want it to blend really well. And I leave that little ball on my finger and I go in and I get my white. Be careful guys, don't do what I just did and contaminate your white. I'm gonna get a little bit more white than that. There we go. You guys can see I'm just molding them together. And I'm not trying to blend them too, too much. I want it to have like a little bit of a marbly effect. Then I'm going to stick that right on there underneath this wing. And I'll be able to go back in with my silicone brush. So what I'm going to do now though, guys, I try to tell you every single time, please close everything you're using. Any kind of LED light, which most of even our regular house lights are LED lights. So be careful, make sure you're closing all this stuff up. Just close it right away. You don't wanna cure it. You just bought it and you don't wanna waste all your money by accidentally not paying attention and curing it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mold my bottom wing. Here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Here you guys go. So pretty. Look at my butterfly. You guys. Hey Isabel. Hey Vicky. 
Vicky's watching, Nancy. Hey, Vicky. I can't wait. We're going to see each other again next week. So, is for your information, so we are going to see everyone in Gatlinburg next week. So, if you haven't get chance to sign up for the class with us, hands on eight hours, so you get all of us, me, Jenny, and Vicky. Yes. So, anything that you have a questions for crystal placements, anything you can meet up with us. Mm -hmm. What booth are we at, Nancy? We're going to be at the booth 28 and 29. 28 and 29. Um, the workshop class on Saturday, uh, June 29th from 9 to 4. And the show floor, I believe it, from 9 to 5. So pretty. Then we're going to do a <laughs> tiny little white flower on the bottom of here. Ooh, let's do yellow, actually. Maybe. Let's see if the yellow will stand out against the gold. You can see. So again, guys, I don't want to contaminate anything. If you have anything to wipe it off with, like a paper towel or whatever, I'm just using my fingers so that it's quicker. So we'll do. I'm gonna get a ball of it here and then I'm gonna slice my ball in half. So I don't need quite that much. And I'm going to put just my one little ball in here. <coughs> there we go. Let's do two more of those. Looking pretty good. Looks cool. I was a little worried about that yellow not standing out. It's a bright yellow. It actually yeah, it looks great. Jenny is so focused. Jenny, come on up, up a little I'm more. I'm so in love <coughs> with this. Okay, Jenny. It looks like on cherry blossom. Well, what mean cherry blossom? Yellow. Cherry blossom. Tops. In Vietnam, they have a pink. Oh, really? In the north. Mm -hmm. And on the south, they have a yellow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. We'll do another so tiny little petal. So you I'm guys excited. can see how it easy is this is. Flexible. This is really easy to mess around it's with. Like a mustache. <laughs> mustache? Is that what it looks like, Nancy? It's Emma. 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 Emma Queen, Queen. Nails. Okay, I can't touch that. Somehow I keep. Isabel. So love. Hey, Miss Isabel. This is awesome. Yes. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to cure that for like seven seconds really quick. I just want to make sure it doesn't move around. Pretty. Okay, let's do one more little yellow flower. Is that cool? Maybe let's just do like a petal. I don't know. Up the side flower. Yeah. She stopped feeling it. It's still not enough. And she's getting more and getting more and getting more. It's like we're out of here. It looks good. We're the live audience. Behind the scene and it's good. We're the live audience. 
fascinating as Jenny Wolf. Trong những anh chị em mình làm, mình có gặp trở ngại với nạn bông 3D thì cái uh, 4D gel này rất là dễ anh chị em mình nặn. Mình nặn sao cũng được, ấy, nó không có khô khi nào mà mình ưng cái design rồi thì mình bỏ vô đèn nó mới khô mà nó không có chảy nó không có bị nhão khi mà anh chị em mình bỏ vô đèn nó cũng không có bị nhão ra nó không có bị bị nứt hay là nó bị bóng khi mà mình khiên rất là đẹp mà không cần phải chùi lại. Okay, more and more at the top, right on the top of a butterfly. Then, then I'll be satisfied. <cười> Can I build over the flower? Yeah. Nancy and I were actually talking about earlier today. Yep. Can do it. it over the top of a crystal. So I'm going to practice a little bit with that and then she did it. I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay. Hey, Paige. <coughs> How are you, sweetie? Uh -huh. All right. I'm happy with this. I'm now going to go in with my Glitz glue gel. And then I'm going to use my condensed glue gel. I'm going to put some crystals on around this. It's going to be really Close pretty. Side. That is my one of my favorites. Doesn't matter whatever you do, is it's just life is too short. It's so it pretty. Just need a little bit of crystal. I can't believe it turned out like that though, Nancy. It's so yeah. pretty. Okay, Jenny, I can't wait. So it doesn't matter. They come with twelve colors on the kit of your forty gels. You can you can do whatever, however as your butterfly is. There's no limit. Whatever kind of butterfly you want to do, it does you not do a purple, make a difference. We have purples there. Are you trying to do oh, it? Oh, sorry. It on the way. She's trying to do it for... Just like, okay, I'm in my own war now. I well, I was... The butterfly. I was like, I'm letting Nancy do her thing really quick <laughs> while I do this. And then I started doing it. And then I didn't think about the fact that it, she was done. Now but the color, anything. it stays so consistency. Yeah, no, nothing has and changed. And really flexible. Ah, uh, it looks so like... Just her wing is so beautiful. And I just want to make sure. Oh. I don't know if I'm putting crystals over here, but I want to make sure that she if get... I decide to, I don't have to worry about having to go back in mm -hmm. with my chicken. You... you know what is her wings that remind me of? Mm. Carnation. Carnation? You think? Yeah. The... The like the white, flowers, red yeah. and white ones. Very nice. Looks so cool. Thank you. Jenny has her nails naked. Just give you a secret because she's gonna put the 4D in there. Yeah. Well, that's how you practice. <laughs> All right. Now that I have this on here, I am going to very carefully top coat. And I'm going to top coat first because I don't want to have to top coat it again. It's a little frustrating when you have to keep going back and going back and going back. Okay. 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is write in all of these little nooks and crannies, just make sure. Anywhere that's like really intricate, I'm gonna use my twin tip brush. And then after I get my twin tip brush in there, I'll be able to go over all those little <coughs> intricate areas so that I'm not worried about going over the top of my flowers. guys are going to watch me use my twin tip and make sure that I get all this in there. I know, it's got a twin tip there. So I want to go right in here and I just want to make sure I have my top coat covering everything nice and pretty. Looks so good. This way, I don't have to go back in and cover anything. It's all just covered. pretty okay now let's go in with our crystals and then I'll probably go back in into the center of my yellow flower and do another little crystal there and then also I somehow ended up with glue gel on my arms <laughs> I got it I already got it Nancy yeah perfect okay so oh Nancy gave me more my arm is sticky you guys I'm sorry it's distracting me. Okay. Now, where did I put it? Oh, here we go. Did this one here. And then this one. And this <laughs> one. You guys like my butterfly? Yeah. So cute. And then I put my little gold beads here for a reason. I'm being super quiet guys but it's because I had the vision I have the vision in my mind okay looks good I just want one more go to his antenna yeah you like that yeah feel smart huh mm -hmm, looks good you can have gel painting you can draw it but Today, we do it 40. So I'm just gonna use it like this. I think it looks really cute. Aww. Look at her. She is so cute. I'm gonna give her this at the bottom here. So nice. So cute. I love it. Are you doing some? Uh, I was gonna say maybe we should do or put some like crystals over here. 
Just do something. I'm thinking the flower. Do you want something in the Yeah, room? I'm going to put something in the flower, That's Nancy, cool, for though. sure. <coughs> I love doing this where I do like the little two on the side. I think it just ends up looking so pretty. Like they're little jewels. So cute. Nice. Do we have some smaller ones, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Do we have SS? Three over there? I thought we had another plate of them. For some reason. Nancy's gonna get it for me. And then she's right. I'm gonna do some beads in the center of this right here. Bunch of beads. Yep, perfect. So I just used condensed glue. My condensed glue gel, and yeah, and I'm just putting a little spot of it right in the center here. I'm building Ooh. it up just a little bit so that I can sink my beads down into that. Hot everything guys make sure you're closing everything off you don't you don't want to just leave it look at that Neil Jenny did it for me in the still there yeah that's from that's Orlando it. show them show them your nail from Orlando it's still on there all 3d with Nancy and she's been like doing all kinds of stuff you guys we do pack unpack yeah There we go. Let me put one right there. Looking awesome, Vicky Aww, said. Oh, thank you, Vicky. <coughs> She's so sweet. What a motivator. These women, they make you feel like you're never doing enough. <laughs> like you should do Vicky. more, do more. That's good though. That's the best thing that you can have in your career have someone motivating you all the time that's what you want is a good mentor someone who's going to give you good critique good inspiration I'm always telling them how lucky I am that I have them both in my life yeah same to us us too yes it's so pretty okay I'm going to put all my bead in the center right here. Ooh, maybe do like one. One of these and do all bead all around it. Mm, the butterflies look cool though. It's a cool contrast like wow. That's yeah, really good. The yellow is being drawn now. And butterflies is crazy now. Everybody want butterflies. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. I don't know if Instagram it looks there so we go. nice in person. Hold on. Too close. Well, oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. It's so pretty, you guys. This is my best 4D one so far. By far the best one. Okay. 
I'm going to move the antenna over just a little bit and then I'm going to cure this because I am done with it and I want to make sure nothing comes off. Excuse me. Bless you. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. End of the lamp. 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go around with my precision pen and make sure everything is nice and secure on there. So, now that I have that in there and I'm not being so quiet anymore, I can tell you... <laughs> you guys <laughs> so we have all 12 of these gel colors for you guys goes from our deep purple pure white to our jet black creme de la creme and this is a really pretty off-white color we also have our honest brown light blush forest green yellow sun our majestic blue our passionate pink our crimson red and our sweet orange. So all 12 of these colors are what you're going to get in your 4D gel kit. You're also going to get your 3D, 4D twin tip brush. You're also going to get your diamond stir stick. And both of these things are pretty necessary in order to do this properly. So this is definitely come in handy because it keeps you from contaminating any of your stuff. Not only that, but if you guys have a gel painting kit if you got it at the show you may have gotten one of these with your gel painting kit um if not you can find this on our website this is eight dollars seven ninety nine so you will see that there we go all right guys so <laughs> this is done curing You're gonna be able to get that whole kit for $149.99 tonight until midnight. After that, it's gonna go back up to $179.99. So definitely check it out. This is so pretty, Nancy. This I'm glad you told me to use the yellow. I was really worried it was not gonna stand out against the gold, but it actually looks really good. And I'm getting a lot better at molding all my 4D gel stuff. I don't know if you could tell since the first time that I did this. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and use our precision pen. This is what your precision pen looks like. You're gonna take your top off. That's the broken one. We want the good one. You're gonna take your top off. The top on your precision pen, guys. That's the top we're talking about. <laughs> this is top. Do not be confused by my words. So this little red cap here, make sure you're not throwing that away. I know I told all of you in Orlando, I'll be telling all of you in Gatlinburg, make sure you don't throw away this little red cap. You wanna keep that because you're gonna use it again to close everything up. So what I'm gonna do guys <laughs> is I'm gonna go around all my little metal balls just because I wanna make sure that they definitely don't come off. And then any little crystals that I feel like I can feel an edge on, I want to make sure that I get those as well. Just because you don't want to have any issues with your crystals coming off. So right over the top of my little metal ball, around any little crystal that I feel like needs to be secured into place. This one's pretty good can always feel before you start pushing and you'll be able to tell whether or not you need to add more. I'm gonna go right into this little cranny here. And all around, especially on the edges of the nail. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right in here. And I'm gonna go right in here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know that if I do it on my metal beads, I don't have to worry about them coming off later. So 
fit right on the top of that. And we're good. Just want to make sure I don't have any lumpy bumpy. So I'm going to spread everything out nice and evenly. There we go. Ignore my phone going off guys, I'm sorry. Usually I mute it. I don't know what's up with me. There we go. For some reason I could see all of that. Perfect, okay. Now that I've got it looking the way I want, again, make sure you're like swiping your sides a little bit. You don't want any gel to like move too far to the outside edge of the nail. And then I'm gonna pop this bad boy back in the lamp. Actually, just kidding. <laughs> well, I just thought about it and Nancy, I didn't go around the center of my flower. So I wanna make sure that I've got that all nice and secured in there. There we go. All right, now it's gonna go in the lamp. Sixty seconds on that, guys, and then quickly remember, recap everything. Recap. We're good to go. Okay. Now Jane's gonna turn off her notifications while she tells you how you can contact us. If you want to get a hold of us, guys, you can call us at 206-771-5086. You can also email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. Or you can get a hold of us by DMing us on either Instagram or Facebook. So either one of those things, you're going to be able to get a hold of us. Whatever questions you have, if you have any inquiries about our website or if you're having trouble locating something, literally anything, guys. Just message us, call us, whatever you need. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And then if you haven't already, you should join our Crystal Obsessions page. We post on there every single time we go live because I'm going to show you guys <laughs> all the nails that I do and we post all of our videos on there. Look how pretty this ended up looking. Oh my gosh, let me wipe off the residue from the wax pen. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm really proud of this one. Holy cow. It's so nice. Okay. Now that we've done our very intricate, crazy looking 4D butterfly, I'm going to move on to my Crystal Pixie nail. And I'm excited to do this because I'm using some charms from the mix bag and I think it's really gonna like amp up my crystal pixie now. So I'm using this really pretty green here. Like I said earlier, this is called Toe the Lime, L-I-M-E, by C and D. <laughs> That's really, really funny. Cool color. <laughs> it's really cute. This is the color. And what I'm gonna do first is, and here's my olive green crystal pixie. I really love this color. It's gonna look great on this lighter background. It's gonna pick up that color really well and look super pretty. You and can do, you wanna do ombre? No, no ombre? I can do ombre, but I don't think that the yellow is gonna, well, I don't know, yeah, actually it, it might. Good, yeah, it'll, it'll show up pretty well. Okay, so let's do ombre, and we're gonna do ombre with the mixed bag charms that I have set out. So first step, Condensed glue gel. You want to use your condensed glue gel on top of a base coat that you cure for 15 seconds if you're doing this on dipping or you're doing this on your acrylic liquid and powder. If you're doing this on top of your gel polish, you totally can. Um, you just do your gel polish colors and then you just go right to this step and you'll be fine. I have a demo nail. So I always top coat it because I don't want to have to worry about whether or not it's getting dust or hair or anything like that all over it while I wait for live to start. So as you can see, I'm doing a very thin coat of my condensed glue gel. Doesn't need to be thick at all. And 
any excess, I'm gonna wipe right back in the pot. And I don't want it to be super <coughs> thick because it's gonna sink down into it and we don't want it to sink so far down that it covers up the Crystal Pixie. We really just want to have a nice thinner layer. For your top coat to grip too, because your top coat's gonna add a whole nother layer of gel here, and we wanna make sure that's not too, too much. So, there we go. Recapping my brush, recapping my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed, recapping everything, and then straight to top coat. So here is our non-wipe gel top coat. And I'm just going to quickly over the top of this. Don't use too, too much, guys. I had a lot for a second there. And you're just going to go right over the top of this and brush it down. And then, like I stated earlier, make sure you're swiping the sides. You don't want to have too much excess. It's gonna distort the shape of your nail that you spent a very long time shaping. And I know you spent a long time doing it because if you're a perfectionist like me, you kept looking at it, then flipping the hand, then looking at it, then flipping the hand, then looking at it. So I've got this on. I'm ready to start placing my crystals. I had a really cool idea here. I think these look super cute. And then I want to do like the big crystal on the top. And then I wanted to do the little crystals going down at the bottom. Boop. <coughs> you can see everything's kind of moving a little bit. That's okay. And you can always move it back. There we go. And then I'm gonna put one right at the tip. There we go, sorry Facebook. You can see what this looks like. I really like this color too. <laughs> and I think it's gonna stand out really well with our Crystal Pixie. Oh my goodness, absolutely. I love it. I love this. I love our mix bags. You can find both of these pieces in our mix bags, guys. And all of our mix bags are different, so definitely check that out. I'm gonna do lighter at the bottom. So I'm gonna use our yellow, and I'm gonna go in at the bottom, and then I'm gonna go with the green at the top of it. Or should I do it the other way? Let's do it the other way. Do light at the top and dark at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Looks so cool. So I'm concentrating most of it towards this bottom part here, and then I'm kind of just like lightly letting it go up. Perfect. Oh, looks so gorgeous. I really like this. I just want to make sure that I'm getting everything nice and covered. If you do this closer to the table, guys, it's not going to bounce up like that back at you. Um, if you're doing demo nails. When you're doing a client's nail, you really want to make sure that you are putting their nail into the tray. So Nancy will show you. Stick their nail into the tray just like this right on the corner. And then you're not gonna have anything bouncing around. It'll be a lot easier for you. And I just wanna make sure, like I said, everything is nice. And tap down. Now I'm gonna go in with my darker color. So first, get your tray. Pour all your crystal pixie right back in there. 
and then cap it. That way, when you accidentally knock it over, because I promise you at some point you're gonna do it, it's not open, it's spilling everywhere. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Look you're so in. sweet. You're so good at what you do. You're so sweet. So again, I'm gonna try and get this as close to the tray as I can. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Nancy. So gorgeous. Look at that, that ombre, Demidus Pixie. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting every little inch of this covered. So I can always tap it down and go back in and add whatever else I need to. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Thanks, Mia. Look at it. Any excess, I can just knock right off. So gorgeous. Okay. Look at that, you guys. It's so pretty. I really love it. Just adds that extra little bit of sparkle in there. So funny. I was almost pouring in with the leads on. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, good job, Nancy. <laughs> so then I say, oh, that doesn't work. All right. So I'm really happy with the way this looks now that it's all tapped down. I'm going to stick this right into the lamp. I just want to make sure that nothing is sticking up too much because you don't want your client to be like, it scratched me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, in the lamp, 60 seconds. <coughs> After that, I'm gonna go around the edge with my precision pen and make sure everything is nice and good and secure in there. Pour this right back in there. So pretty. Hey, nails my tree, how are you, sweetie? Use Nancy's brush here. I love these little brushes we got. Nancy put crystals all over hers. I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to get mine. I like the other one though. I like the rainbow one that doesn't look like this, the one that's like super multicolored. We have one that's like the crazy, like, cr like rainbow chrome color. It's so pretty over here so now that this is done guys I am gonna go around all my edges and make sure that I'm sealing all my crystal pixie in here hey Henry how are you thank you so much for stopping by and seeing us thank you so much we love having all your support so pretty look at this ombre pixie I love it. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna go in with my precision pen. Precision pen, my best friend, Nancy calls him. And oh, I keep grabbing the broken one, you guys. Why is she tricking me with this? She tricks me every time. I'm doing great, sweetie. We're really excited to go to Gatlinburg. Not too much longer. A couple weekends, not this weekend, but next, the weekend after that, I think. So, or no two and a half weeks from now I don't know keep your red cap guys don't toss it keep it and then make sure that you're going around all your edges you really want to seal in your crystal pixie at the sides because that's what's going to keep it from peeling up or popping off and then any little area that you see is not completely covered by crystal pixie like you have a little spot in the center just go into the center of your little area and 
seal that in there. And that way you don't have to worry about it. It's gripped really good on the edges and it's not gonna come like popping up or popping off. I think I only really have like one little area right here where it didn't wanna secure. The rest of it is really good though. And I am just gonna go right up underneath this little thing right here because I can see that there's a spot there and I just filled it all up. So I wanna make sure. And right here I have little spots. There we go, perfect. Okay, now that I've got that filled up, oh, one little area right here. I'm gonna go in, put this right back in the lamp for 60 seconds and then it will be good to go. Thank you so much. I love that you guys are so freaking motivating. It's really sweet of all of you Dangerous. to be so excited about the things that we do. Bye, Tracy. I meet Tracy. It means a lot to us. That color is so pretty. If you guys are curious how you can get a hold of any of our product, just go online at www.glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And when you're checking out, use your code Jenny W. That's J E N N Y W. And you will get 10% off of your order. And then any order of $150 or more, you do get free shipping, guys. So definitely make sure that you're utilizing that part of it because nobody wants to pay for shipping. This is almost done here. And then so we do have a cute little plate. Easy. I can stick these on. You have a good one, Nancy? Yeah. The clear one. Do you have any more Tiki Tac? Maybe so. A little bit. Yeah, hold on. Okay. I just need some. I just found Look! Out. So pretty. Nancy found all of our demo stuff. So here are the two nails we did tonight. I love the contrast of both of these, green and gold. They're two very different nails. Completely different. There we go. Nancy's got some ticky tack for me. one let me see the rest of that this is perfect that's all i need nancy Good night, yes you missed it <coughs> henry's here oh yeah we're almost done here facebook i mean instagram so it's gonna kick us off so let me finish up before we're done so here are our two nails. Like I said earlier, mm. use the code Jenny W. You will get 10% off your entire order. And our 4D gel kit is going special right now, $149.99. You have until midnight to use that code and get your discount, as well as making sure that you get it at the good price. After midnight, it will be going back up to $179.99. So check it out. And I'm gonna make a post on Crystal Obsession here in just a minute. I'm gonna go take a picture of these really beautiful nails. If you missed the video, check out our Facebook. We do post everything that we do and we're gonna post it probably on our Instagram story as well. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful Thursday. I will see you again tomorrow, right after work, whenever that would be, because who knows, it's busy, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. I will see you all again tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh my God, it's so nice. To get, to get Jenny back to back is awesome. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night.